catch me outside. How about that? That's what I always do, and they never catch me. Ain't nobody gonna catch me. Because you're too streetwise? Yup. And all these hoes laughing like so funny. She's talking about the audience that they're laughing at her. Did, did you say the, the, the hoes are laughing? Yep. So the audience are a bunch of hoes? Yep. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and smash the like button for me. So Bad Baby, aka Daniel Bergoli, best known for her Cash Me Out Shy, how about that, has exposed video footage and images depicting physical abuse inflicted by her ex-boyfriend. On Sunday, July 7, Bad Baby posted troubling videos on her Instagram story showing her being physically attacked by her former boyfriend and the father of her child, LaVon. In the 22nd clip captured outside a home at 4.30 a.m. on June 30th, Bad Baby is shown being repeatedly thrown to the ground by a man she identified as LaVon. Additional Instagram stories revealed two graphic photos of Bad Baby's injuries showing a nearly swollen shut bruised eye and deep scratches on her skin. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So this is what she wrote. I love that man more than I love myself, and it's honestly really sad. But unfortunately, this is real life. I know the easy way out is to leave, and that's better said than done. This doesn't happen this extreme often, so it happens a lot. But LV definitely has a problem. He's going to get the help he needs. Right now, there's no room for mistakes, and he knows that. Whoever says they are there for me will be supportive of me no matter what I choose to do. Y'all know I give a mother effing... Y'all know I give a mother uh, MF hell, but... Y'all know I give a MF hell, but there's no excuse for that at all whatsoever. My point, my point in sharing this wasn't to attack him. It was for him to see what he does is wrong and to take accountability and make, real, make a real change. So in other words, she is staying with him. When she said, whoever says they are there for me, will be supportive of me no matter what I choose to do. Really? If anyone support that, then they don't really care for you. They don't care for your well-being. So she deleted the notes soon after. But she also shared a quote on Instagram. I used to tolerate a lot because I didn't want to lose people. But now I realize that those people aren't my people. So she deleted everything. This girl is only 21 years old. And she just had a baby in March this year, 2024. She had a baby with this guy, this loser, this year, March. And this guy been beating her like this. I don't like ghetto. I don't like ratchet. I don't like trailer trash behavior. So I don't really read about this girl. But a month ago, I read, I saw something. And that's when I found out she had a baby. And I'm like, wait, what? This girl? Wait, what? And when I saw the baby shower pictures, and I was like, oh, man, this guy is a loser. Right away, I saw the red flags. So am I surprised? I mean, when she came out, she was like, what, 13 years old? And next thing you know, she was in the industry surrounded by a bunch of predators, dirty-looking, nasty-looking rappers. I can't even tell you their names. I don't know their names. She would be on top of cars. And these rappers were, like, at least 18. Like, what grown man is hanging out with a 13-year-old? It did not look right, and I tuned out because I didn't like her. She was ghetto, ratchet, trailer trash. I didn't like, I don't like that kind of, yeah. That's why I don't like Sexy Red. I don't like Cardi B, Young Miami. It's just, ugh, right? So I tuned out, but I remember she was surrounded by a bunch of predators. That's why I know one day she, she could, I don't know, maybe she'll she write a book. And tell her stories, cause I'm sure she, she has a lot to tell, because these nasty predators, these disgusting, dusty looking, they just look so nasty. I wish I could think of their names. I can't think of their names. They're not even they irrelevant. But yeah, but 
I don't know, maybe you guys can Google it, but she was surrounded by a bunch of ugh, predators. Disgusting, yucky, yucky rappers. They just look dirty. So yeah, she's she's young. She's only 21. So I don't think she's going to leave. I think I read that her dad is like in the police department. I guess he's a police officer. I'm not sure. So I don't know. But it's only going to get worse. I mean, the guy don't love you. A man who beat you, put his hands on you, you know, abuse you mentally, physically, uh, you know, verbally, don't love you. So hopefully she gets out now while she can because who knows what can happen. All it takes is one punch, one push, you never know. That loser could take her life. So am I surprised that she ended up with a loser like that? No, look at her background. I'm not surprised. But you know what? She said they've been broke up since May. And that incident happened June 30th. That's what the video says. So, yeah, but she has a baby with him. So she's stuck with him. Oh, gosh. And this guy is a bum. He's, he doesn't have money. She has the money. Jeez, this is crazy. Well, we're going to have to just stay tuned because she's not leaving this guy until she learns to love herself because she doesn't love herself. She said uh, she loves him more than she loves herself. Like, what kind of mess is that? Like, what? I can't. Look, this guy needs to be arrested right away ASAP, okay? Throw this guy in jail, this loser, this bum. And she needs to go back to school. She needs to get an education. She has no education. Right? She needs to get her life together for her daughter. She needs to change her whole trailer trash, ghetto, ratchet mess that she has going on. And just be a decent human being. At least for your daughter. My goodness. That's all, you guys. That's all. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.